Debt is a camp follower. A trailer of armies, but not the kind of scavenger imagined by its moral critics. The first Greek citizen soldiers paid to fight, but the Mongol infantry of Macedonia and Rome enlisted owning nothing and exacted a liquid wage as the price of any discipline. Alexander mortgaged his Persian campaign at the outset and redeemed it when the treasuries were looted, gods melted down. The conduit of war is not coin here, but credit. Cash just buys off mutiny among the armed and unidentified. The Greek sovereign debt crisis started after the revolution of 1829, when Otto of Bavaria was installed as a teenage sovereign. The installing powers wanted $15 million, counting upwards, has refinanced over a century. Bondholders put an international finance commission in charge of the Greek budget. War reparations and interest deadlines were the first things guaranteed. The modern Greek state serviced its obligations faithfully, taxing peasants more heavily than the Ottomans had ever dared. God damn the polis and vice versa. The sacrificial meal, the roasting spit, the coins named obols after it. Schuld and Schulden. The German singular is guilt, the plural, debt. There is no such thing as society, so guess where your debt to it ends. A byproduct of punishment, concatenation of claims. Argentina's flagship seized in Ghana by order of backyard sale bondholders. A hedge fund with a navy. Not quite the first of its kind. <laughs>